Okay, so uh, I had a few questions about finding the percentage um, under a normal distribution. So this new video is going to sort of address that. And the problem that students were having was um, this livestock company reports that the mean weight of a group of young steers is 1,099 pounds uh, with a standard deviation of 96 pounds. And we want to know what the percentage of steers are going to weigh in the following ranges. And so the first one is over uh, 1,250 pounds, right? So um, what I always do is I always start with a sketch of the normal curve. Oh my lord. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, I'm just going to type... So the first thing you want is a sketch of the normal distribution. Uh, I hope that this actually turns out okay. I'm going to try to draw the sketch. And so I want a horizontal line right here. And then I want to draw that nice normal curve that's unimodal and comes down and gets close to the axis there. And then of course right in the middle is the mean and that's the 1099 pounds so right here I'm gonna have 1099 pounds okay and then here where I've got this point of inflection that's gonna be my first standard deviation right and so to do that I need my handy dandy calculator right so I'm gonna take the 1099 and add to it one standard deviation which is this 12 uh, 96 over here, oops, I lost my calculator. All right, so I'm going to add 96 pounds to it and hit enter. And so I get 1,095. So I'm going to go over here and do the 1,195. And then I'm going to go out one more standard deviation, right? Because I, I would like to actually get past 1,250. So I'm going to go out one more standard deviation. And so that's 10.99 plus, and now I'm at the second standard deviation, right? So I'm going out two times 96 and hit enter, and that's 1,291, so that's far enough. So here we go, 1,291. Now I have to go the other direction, right? So here's my point of inflection. So I'm going to go back this way, right? And so now I am at negative one standard deviation. So I actually need to subtract the 96 pounds now. So I'm going to go 10, 99, and then minus 96 pounds. And that's going to give me 1,003 pounds. Like a right, there's my mean one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and now I have to go back one more standard deviation. So I'm going to be back here, and that's a negative two standard deviation. So I'm going to take my mean and I'm going to subtract from it two standard deviations to get that other value, which is 907. And so this is my normal distribution for the steers. Okay. <clears throat> now, once I sketch my normal distribution, uh, what I want to do is, oh no. Uh, what I want to do is find my z-score. So I want to find my z-score for the cutoff value. All right, so what does that mean? So what that means is I'm going to take this 1,250 pounds right here, and that's basically my cutoff value. 
and I want to find the Z score for that, right? So let's do that. So my Z score for 1250 is going to be equal to 1250 minus 1099 pounds all divided by 96 right and that's going to give me a value over here so I'm going to plug that into my handy dandy calculator using the appropriate set of parentheses 1250 minus 1099 divided by 96 and I get a 1.57 which hopefully makes sense because here's one standard deviation right here at 1195 and here's two standard deviations at 1291 and so basically I'm right here I'm right here with a 1250 that's equal to 1.57 standard deviations above right and now I'm actually doing over 1250 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade to over is above so I'm going to shade in this direction so I'm headed out here toward that um, 100 standard deviation cutoff that we're sort of making to the far right okay and that's going to make sense here in a moment all right, so now I'm going to raise this up just a little bit so that we can see um, just a tiny bit better. I'm going to use the normal CDF. And remember, the normal CDF function requires a left z-score and then a comma and then your right z-score. Okay? Um, and that is going to give you the decimal area under the curve. Okay? And so that makes us uh, super happy. So let's go ahead and see how we do that in the calculator. All right? So I'm going to have my normal CDF. All right? And that left Z score is the uh, 1.57 that we got from over here, right, from our calculator. Alright, and that's under the distribution button, second distribution. And the normal CDF is number two. All right, so I'm going to type that in. And so now it's asking for a lower bound, okay? And so that's going to be the 1.57. All right. So I'm going to type in 1.57 and hit enter. And then the upper is this 100 to the far right, right? I'm just going to go that far over to 100 okay and so I'm gonna type that in and that's gonna give me a decimal answer now remember the mu is gonna be zero right because zero is in the middle of my normal distribution and each standard deviation is a one so there's one two three right and so these guys are gonna stay the same so I hit enter enter and paste it in and hit enter again and basically just hit enter until you get this nice decimal right here 0 0.058 okay and so I'm gonna put in point zero five eight okay and if I convert that to a um, percentage I'm gonna move the decimal over two places and that's gonna give me five point eight percent all right so the conclusion is, if I want to scroll up just a little bit so I can see the conclusion, my conclusion is um, uh, I predict, I expect, predict I should find that 
5.8% of steers weigh over 1,250 pounds. Okay, so that's what I'm predicting there, right? Now this is the the first one, okay, um, which was over 1,250. Now what if I wanted to know how many of my steers were going to be underweight, right? So let's say I go over here and let's say, no, oh, go down here, thank you. Um, for B, I want to figure out a steer that's maybe um, under 1,100 pounds. Okay. Well, the the first thing that I'm going to do with this uh, under 1,100 pounds, I'm going to sketch this again. Okay. Ooh, look. It's all going crazy. I'm going to sketch this again, and the reason I'm going to sketch this again is because of this shading. I don't want it to mess me up, all right, especially all those boxes. Ah, look at all the boxes. All right, so what I want to do is sketch the curve. I'm going to do that uh, real quick here. And again, the 1,099 is going to be in the center. I've got my above. I've got my below over here. And of course, I can just use the 907, 1,003. 907, 1,003. And then, of course, the uh, 1,195 and 1,291. 1195, 1291. Okay, and then of course, I want to cut off at 1100 pounds. So, 1100 pounds. Wow, 1100 pounds is, is actually right over here. It's one pound more than this. So, I'm, I'm like right here, right at my 1100 pounds, and it's under that, right? So, I'm going to go this direction. And it looks like it's going to be a lot. It looks like there's going to be a lot in that direction. Okay, and remember, if I go out this way to super skinny, remember, this is negative 100 standard deviation shaded out to this tail. The other direction, it's positive 100 standard deviations. This way is um, negative 100, right? And so now what I want to do is uh, find my z-score, right? So... Uh, here B find Z score of 1100 and that's going to be equal to 1100 minus 1099 all over 96 and that's going to give you 1 over 96 which is decimally approximately Point zero one. Okay, and so now I want to put that in the normal CDF. Right now, here my lower score is the negative one hundred. And my upper score now is this 0 0.01, right, that it relates to right here at the upper end. And when I do that, uh, second distribution, uh, number two, right, and that's going to be from negative 100 to point zero one zero. And then I'm just hitting enter until I get that number. And so it's 0 0.504, 0 0.504, which makes sense, right? Because I'm just past, 
Whoa, where'd my... Oh, there it is. Alright, which makes sense because I'm just past halfway, right? So, uh, 0.504, which if I convert it is going to be 50.4%. And that makes us happy because that's about what I expected anyway. When this was just barely past halfway, and halfway being 50%, I knew I was just going to be a little over 50%. And so uh, that really makes me happy. Okay? So that's how you find a left end or a right end, and that's how you sketch it and set it up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, subscribe to my channel, and that makes me happy.